<laughs> unbelievable! This is unbelievable. It's hilarious. When I first heard about the uh, BuzzFeed report about uh, uh, Trump, President Trump sup supposedly instructing uh, uh, Michael Cohen to uh, commit perjury before Congress about uh, his uh, Trump Tower deal in Moscow, I admit, I didn't really pay that much attention to it one way or the other. But just a little while ago, I came to this BuzzFeed report. I mean, I'm sorry, this Mediaite report about the BuzzFeed re uh, a reporter. Now, look, does this name sound familiar, folks? <laughs> oh, when I saw it, I just burst out laughing. I pretty much haven't stopped since. BuzzFeed re news reporter Jason Leopold says he's seen documents supporting bombshell report. Hey, anybody out there that's followed the dummy funnies, they're very, very familiar with Jason Leopold. Remember Fitzmas? Uh, oh, 24 more business hours? He was a guy, Jason Leopold was a guy that conned William Rivers Pitt of Truth Out into proclaiming that Carl Rove would be indicted within 24 business, well, within 24 hours. And that was picked up by all these news outlets. They went crazy. Oh my God, Jeff. Uh, Carl Rove is about to be indicted. In fact, it was so widespread that um, at the time Hillary Clinton was uh, a senator. Uh, she, this is even way back. This is 2006. And uh, she, she was a senator and she was in Michigan at some sort of meeting and they announced uh, it was uh, it went through all the it went right on the news at that time they had blackberries it was announced on their blackberries and they they announced it that Carl Rove would be in, was about to be indicted um, on this uh, Valerie Plain uh, case by uh, uh, Patrick Fitzgerald well it, among the people that stood up and cheered and there was a video of it was Hillary Clinton but let's get right to this about Jason Leopold and uh, I'm going to, uh, oh, so he, it, of course, we know what happened with that. Nothing, absolutely nothing. There's uh, William Weaver's pit is still waiting 24 business hours for uh, Jason Leopold to deliver the proof. But let's, I'm going to get into a little more about Jason Leopold. But first, let's watch, let's watch. Uh, the video here where they're so happy at MSNBC, the inner but I don't in think the interview, I have no businesses, they have no loans I mean, from Russia. Right there, that, that says the tell you to stay away from the story. Candidate and his children, Ivanka and Don Jr., received regular, detailed updates about the Russian real estate development from Cohen, a deal Donald Trump hoped could bring him $300 million in profits. Cohen reportedly telling special counsel Robert Mueller the president personally instructed him to lie to Congress, saying the negotiations ended months earlier than they did to hide President Trump's involvement. Overnight, Cohen's lawyer, Lanny Davis, saying in a statement, out of respect for Mr. Mueller's and the Office of Special Counsel's investigation, Mr. Cohen declined to respond to the questions asked by the reporters, and so do I. With us now is one of the BuzzFeed journalists who broke this story, senior investigative reporter Jason Leopold, joining us on the phone now. Jason, thank you. <laughs> and that's where the story goes south. As soon as you have Jason Leopold on it, it's it's not valid, but let's let's uh, listen to a, for a little while to Jason Leopold. We know everybody that's familiar with the Dummy Funnies knows where this uh, movie's heading, and we know the ending of it. But, but and, and it's pretty damn funny. We call this movie a comedy movie. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Let me start with Rudy Giuliani's reaction. He is telling NBC News this morning, "If you believe Michael Cohen, I can get you a great deal on the Brooklyn Bridge." What's your response? Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm and if I, uh, you believe Jason Leopold, I can also get you a, a great deal on a Brooklyn Bridge in just 24 more business hours. Not surprised by uh, uh, Mr. Giuliani's uh, reaction to to the report. Uh, however, I'll say that uh, the uh, information that, that we've obtained, that we've uh, spent months investigating uh, related to this, go beyond... Uh, simply Michael Cohen uh, and uh, and his statements. Uh, and as we reported, uh, the uh, information or uh, that that is in the hands of uh, of the FBI and special counsel include uh, other documents and interviews with uh, with people. 
Now, your your colleague, uh, who you wrote the story with, says that neither of you, when you talk about those documents, that you guys haven't actually seen them. You haven't seen the documents, the texts, the emails, etc. So how confident are you that they actually exist, that this is true? I don't think that... Don't worry. Jason Leopold is going to produce those documents in just 24 business hours. Now, you can see where this is going already. We're, we're seeing it right here on this Mediate report. So let's just real quick go on. BuzzFeed News reporters, Jason Leopold. Oh, my God. That, that's poison right there. Just stay away from that story. Not true, but okay. And Anthony Cormier have an explosive story out claiming Michael Cohen was directed to lie to Congress about negotiations to build a Trump to uh, Tower Moscow by President Donald Trump. The report claims Cohen told Robert Mueller about the president's order corroborating other evidence reportedly in possession of federal investigators. When Cormier appeared on CNN Friday morning to talk about the scoop, he was asked if he had seen the reported evidence for himself. Cormier answered, no, I have not seen it personally, but insisted that the sources are fully 100% read in to that aspect of the special counsel's investigation. Yeah, don't worry, Mr. Cormier. Jason Leopold has it, and he's going to show it to you in just 24 business hours. I'm going to have a follow-up video on all this, explaining that whole thing about 24 business hours. Okay, Cormier continued to defend his piece throughout the interview, even as Allison Camarota noted that his co-author, <laughs> Leopold, has a history of false reporting. Yeah, understatement of the century now just real quick I, i'm gonna just show you this if you if, if you reporters out there in the media that are all celebrating this story that donald trump asked michael cohen to commit perjury based on a jason leopold report let's just look at a washington post article about jason leopold from 2005 and this should have steered you far away from it and it's by Howard Kurtz. And back then, he was the Washington Post sta uh, staff reporter. It says, Subjects Challenge Derails Reporter's Book Project. And it was from March 9th, 2005. Just the first two paragraphs I'm going to read here. It says, Jason Leopold got a journalistic black eye three years ago when Salon retracted this, a story the freelancer had written about a Bush administration official saying... It could not authenticate the piece. Now, the former Los Angeles Times and Dow Jones reporter has written a book off the record that criticizes journalists as lazy. Oh, and by the way, Leopold says he engaged in lying, cheating, and backstabbing. Is a former cocaine addict, <laughs> served time for grand larceny, reported, reported, repeatedly tried to kill himself, and has battled mental illness his whole life. So, hey, all you liberals out there, outside the media, in the media, they're celebrating this report. Just remember who the source is, and everybody that knows the dummy funnies knows exactly where it's going. And by the way, you know who else knows where this is going? Dummies themselves. Here, here's here. this is from today. And they're starting to worry. It says, Jason Leopold is the co-author of the BuzzFeed article everyone is talking about. And then, more info coming at 24 business hours. <laughs> they know. They know you can't trust anything Jason Leopold reports. And yet, this is being swallowed whole uh, by, the, by the media. Now, I'm going to come back in a little bit with a follow-up video. We're going to go into that episode about Fitzsmith and Leopold and 24 business hours. So people out there have a better understanding of it. And by the way, this resulted in possibly one of maybe the funniest dummy funnies uh, of, of, all, of all time. So I'll be back with the follow-up on uh, what exactly transpired back in the, the 2006, May 12th, 2006. That's, that's, by the way, in case you don't know, it's William Rivers Pitt Day. And I'll We'll find out exactly why in just a little bit. But for now, I'm going to put this up. It just as a warning to everybody in the media, if you have a half a brain, you'll find out where Jason Leopold is coming from.